first tonight, two breaking stories impacting local schools, a packed house in Uptown as dozens of parents speak out on a controversial CMS boundary plan. But first, a student busted with knives and what authorities are calling a hit list on a local campus. Police say that student threatened to stab several people at school today. But they were tipped off and managed to stop that alleged plot before it happened. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joins us live. And Xavier, that tip actually came from outside the country? Yeah, that's exactly right. That tip coming from Canadian authorities inside of a chat room. Uh, that boy tonight behind bars, but parents here at the school still questioning the school's safety. I send them to school for education, and then they have to fear for their life the whole time they're there and not knowing what's going on. You don't need to see Paulette McKee's face to hear the frustration in her voice. She has two daughters that go to Forest Hills High School. What were your thoughts knowing that your kids were there? I was scared, helpless and just going out my mind. Police say Tuesday a student under the age of 16 was armed with knives, a bottle of flammable liquid, fireworks, a dismantled shotgun shell, and a hit list. It was all inside a book bag. It did seem to be a legitimate threat. The State Bureau of Investigation received a tip from Canadian authorities about a student plotting to stab several kids at Forest Hills High School. The Union County Sheriff's Office moved in immediately. It was very concerning and, and essentially a potential catastrophe was averted. Now, this isn't the first time something like this has happened there. Last February, a student brought a loaded gun to Forest Hills. The weapon was found in his car. NBC Charlotte looked through the annual North Carolina School Report card. Last school year, Union County Schools had the second most weapons on campus behind CMS. That number, 69. You don't expect that to happen. Paulette McKee says she would move her kids to private school if she could. Instead, she's stuck and fears for her kids' safety. My kids are here and no one can protect them. Certainly talking about protection now. Well, that suspect is underage, so his ID is being withheld at this time, and criminal charges will follow. Reporting live in Union County, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte. Xavier, thanks. Also breaking.